Hi James, thanks for being on the show. As a British writer, what brought you to Thailand? I arrived in Thailand September 2011 and I was uh, just a backpacker. Um, I travelled through India, worked in Bollywood for a while, went to Nepal, went to Malaysia, Singapore, all around the region and Bangkok was like a, the hub mm. of Southeast Asia, like the London of uh, Europe, you know, you had to go there to get anywhere else. And um, I traveled through so many times and grew to love the place so much that I decided that it was, uh, it was a good place to call a, as a base to yeah, work yeah, from. Yeah, yeah. Where in Bangkok do you find your inspiration? Well, I wouldn't say where as much as kind of when. Um, mm. I like to travel around Bangkok very early in the morning. I think Bangkok, five o'clock in the morning is just the, the perfect time. While well, most people are sleeping. Everyone's sleeping, it's cooler, <laughs> the roads aren't as busy. Um, and I like to take the public bus and go around from, you know, from Bangna all the way across to, uh, you know, to Silom, somewhere like this, through Rama 4, and you get to see all these strange things um, unraveling, people out from the night before, people start in the day, um, yeah. and a lot of my ideas come from these journeys. James, the White Flamingo, it's a really interesting story. Tell me a little bit about the story. Well, the, the first two books were, the first one and the second one were both set in Bangkok and I really got into the kind of um, nitty gritty of the city and um, for the third outing for the detective Joe Dillon in The White Flamingo, I thought that I would maybe create a new place for him to go other than Bangkok and using one of the coastal towns in Bangkok and Bangkok itself, I yep. created a place called Fun City. Mm -hmm. Now, Fun City is not really that fun. You know, a lot of... Uh, uh, it wasn't Paragon. Yeah, I mean, it was... There's crime going on, you know, there's... Mm. You know, it's, it's a noir um, yeah. city, which Joe Dillon is... He's there as a kind of... Uh, like Rick in Casablanca, he does... He can't really escape the city, but he helps people who want to escape the city, and he's mm. kind of a tour, tour guide around that city. So um, caught up in it. Yeah. So, and I'd read and I'd written another book called Itchy Park, about the Whitechapel murders in um, London, 1888, yeah, yeah. which the is Ripper. Jack the Ripper, yeah. yeah. And then I thought, what if we had a Jack the Ripper style murder in uh, Fun City, in this mm -hmm. fictional town? Um, because it was often said that the Ripper was from the west of London, he went to the east of London where the murders occurred because he couldn't find that kind of, you know, uh, a bit posh on the, on yeah, the east. It's, for want of a better word, yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit posh or west. And then I thought on a global scale, maybe you've got the western tourists yeah. who believe they're coming from a richer place, coming to Asia or coming to Fun City, an Asian city, and um, uh, having their way in this area. And Joe Dillon, the hero, has to uh, find this killer before he um, marks off the um, victims one by one. Yeah. Um, so it was, it was a, um, it was a new idea for me to have a, f a, a fictional place yeah. but grounded in Thailand in a way. So thank you so much Thanks for, being for having me. Soon, James. Cheers. Right, talk thank to you, you later. James Newman.